Okay, so I ran into this interesting little problem at work today with Safari and outlines, and I wanted to sort of document my solution here. So um, up here, we can see that what we're trying to do is uh, we've got these divs, and we want to have these divs. Sometimes they're going to be filled in, sometimes they're not, and we want this outline to be um, around them at all times. Um, <clears throat> Uh, in addition to them being boxes like this, we also want them to be circles. So let me show you the circles here. So we have these circles, right? Uh, and then this is up here is, is Brave, um, the Brave browser. Uh, it looks the same in Chrome and, and in other browsers. You have this circle and then a filled in circle with an outline, a few pixels with a few pixels gap in between. And that was the effect I was looking for, a, a div that could alternate between these two depending on the state, um, <clears throat> kind of like a radio button. And uh, so I, what I did was I used a um, outline uh, for, the, for the div, um, solid black outline uh, with an off outline offset, you can see here. Um, also, to get the circle effect, of course, you use a border radius 50%. And this seemed to work fine, um, but when the designer was taking a look at it to, to sign off, uh, he noticed that th he was seeing this instead, this sort of box around the circle. That the outline was not curved. The border radius did not seem to apply to the outline. And I asked him what browser he was using. He said Safari. So I took a look at it in Safari, and sure enough, I was seeing the same thing. So how do we achieve this? Um, how do we achieve this issue if we, if we have an outline of a div? Um, uh, we want to use the outline property for a div at, and have it show up in Safari in the same way it does in other places. Well, what you may have to do instead is use a box shadow. So let's get rid of the outline class here. And we're going to bring this version in here. Now this, what this does is it creates two box shadows. The first one is three pixels um, and it is white. So it sort of creates a, an outline around it that's in white. And then there's a four pixel one in black that actually sits behind it. So the, the, the first one is, is going to be like on top and the, the one below it is going to be, um, uh, is going to be on bottom. So this one, this one kind of supersedes the black one. You could have, you could actually have multiple out, uh, box shadows um, like this, uh, but in this case, to get this outline effect, we just need the one. Um, now, the other little thing that was uh, problematic about this, it may be hard to see, but you can see there's a tiny bit of artifact. Um, right at the edge of what the, the, the sort of actual div is. Um, and you can see it's just slightly, um, like a slight gray artifact. And the only way to get rid of that, or the best way to get rid of that, is to make sure that the box itself, the div itself, has a background color of white, and that will get rid of that um, artifact. <clears throat>